see another video soon. <laughs> Thank you. Jay and today I'm here with my February wrap up for 2019. I actually read a total of 28 books this month which I am so impressed with myself at but I'm going to be breaking this up into four different parts so seven in each wrap up that will be posted sometime in the future but these are the first seven that I read for the month of February so without further ado let us get started. So I actually ended up reading three graphic novels this month so I'm gonna start with those just to get them out of the way because I don't actually have them physically here so we're gonna do the insert picture thingy but, but the first one that I read was one of booktube's like favorite graphic novels from what I've seen people talk about. It is Fence by PC Pacat. I ended up giving it a 3 out of 5 stars for reasons I will get into but this follows 16 year old Nicholas Cox who is a fencing newbie. He ends up losing a fencing match to a prodigy that has been around for a very long time and he decides that he is going to try to earn a scholarship to King's Row, which is a very elite boarding school. If he ends up getting the scholarship, he will have a place on the fencing team and he'll be able to have the rematch that he's always wanted. So the reason I'm only giving this a 3 out of 5 stars was because it was so dang short. It's a total of 24 pages and I just wanted more once I was done reading, so I was really annoyed that there wasn't more. To that installment. I just really wanted to know more about the boys and their story but obviously the installments are very very short so I wasn't gonna get that but I'm very excited to continue on with the story because I really liked what I saw while reading. I think the diversity of this book is great and I love that it's apparently very queer so I'm very excited for that. I love Nicholas already and how determined he is to prove himself worthy of whatever he thinks he needs to and I feel like the backstory of C CJ, CJ, I can't say his name but the fencing prodigy is gonna be like super epic so I'm very excited for the rest of the books. The next graphic novel I ended up picking up is called Bone Parish. This is by Cullen Bunn. This follows the Winter family who have begun producing a new drug called Ash which is made from the dead and it basically it causes very terrifying real hallucinations. It also allows the person ingesting the drug to be able to see the memories of the person who the drug was made from. The Winter family is beginning to be pressured by a bigger drug cartel to turn over the business to them and is basically the story of that. So I ended up giving this a 3 out of 5 stars. I think that it definitely has potential to be a really interesting story. Again, this was the case of I was disappointed how short it was because I was just getting into the story and that's when it ended, which like cliffhanger, duh, but like it was super short still so I was annoyed. <laughs> when graphic novels are so short I feel like it's really hard to connect with the story or the characters. Not a lot about Ash was explained in this installment other than it was made from dead people and it caused hallucinations so I am intrigued to see what unfolds with this story but again I feel like I can't give it any higher than a three because it was so short. And then the final graphic novel that I read this month was called Victor and this is by Vitor Kafagi and I ended up giving this a 3.5 out of 5 stars. It was super cute. It follows Vincent who takes the bus every single day and then one day he meets a girl named Lady. He instantly falls for her and with the help of his best friend Boo and his RPG playing friends, he learns to navigate these new feelings. The storyline is very simplistic, the art very simplistic, but it is such a cute story. The characters are so quirky, you can't help but fall for them in such a short amount of time. I loved Vincent and watching him try to navigate his feelings for both princess and lady. If you read the graphic novel you'll understand what I mean by that but it was just super cute and I loved how Bo would give him this advice and then he would go the complete opposite direction with what she said. I just thought it was really cute and I recommend it if you want something super quick and adorable. So now on to the actual physical books that I have. The first one I read was Her One Mistake by Heidi Perks and I ended up giving this a 3.5 out of 5 stars. The book follows Charlotte who has agreed 
to take her three kids and her best friend Harriet's daughter Alice to the school fair one day. While at the fair, Charlotte looks away from the kids for a couple of seconds and before she knows it, Alice has gone missing and it's basically the story of that. It does start off pretty slowly but it does progress and pick up speed as the story goes on. I really liked the alternating perspectives between Harriet and Charlotte and the alternating timelines between before and now. It keeps you trying to guess what actually happened to Alice and everything behind the scenes. It gets a very mysterious undertone to the story. I also really like the excerpts of Harriet's diary into this book. I think that it gave another great addition to the story and trying to figure out what was actually happening. I think that the characters reactions given this situation was very relatable. I can see myself reacting the same way as both of the characters. I could not imagine being in either one of their positions. You instantly sympathize with both of them and want everything to work out for each of them and I definitely really enjoyed the psychological aspect of this so I definitely recommend this if you're into like psychological thrillers. It was a really good cool one. The next book that I read was The Caged Queen by Kristen Cicerelli and this is the sequel or like companion novel to The Last Name Sorrow, which was one of my favorite books in 2018. So I was super excited to pick this one up. I ended up giving it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I'm not going to talk about it a lot right now because I actually filmed a full review of it. So that will be up on my channel soon. Hopefully I have to edit it. So when that's going to happen, we don't know. But my full thoughts will be up eventually. But this follows Roa and Dax instead of Asha, so stick around for my full thoughts, but it was really good. 4.5. Real good. The next book that I read this month was Triangles by Ellen Hopkins, and I ended up giving this a 3.5 out of 5 stars. This follows three middle-aged women through the relationships they have in their lives. It follows Holly, who is very unhappy in her marriage, so she decides to look elsewhere for her sexual desires. Andrea is a single mother who is having troubles with her dating life and she's also lusting after her best friend's husband. And then it also follows Marissa whose family life is falling apart. Her daughter is dying, her son is gay and rebelling, and her husband stays extra time at work in order to avoid coming home. And it's basically the story of them navigating all their lives. And obviously it's an Ellen Hopkins book so the storylines all interweave somehow which I love about Ellen Hopkins books. I personally really love how Ellen Hopkins can cover so many topics in a single book. This one covers adultery, threesomes, teen pregnancy, and so much more. None of the characters in this book are particularly likable. I didn't really enjoy any of them. They're just not very good people in my opinion, but I still wanted to read and continue on just to see what was going to happen with them. I definitely do not agree with a lot of the choices they decided to partake in, but I wanted to continue reading just to figure out what was going to happen in the end. This definitely wasn't my favorite Ellen Hopkins book, but it wasn't my least favorite either, so it was like an in-betweeny for me, which is why 3.5 out of 5 stars. And then the final book that I'm going to talk about in this wrap-up is called What We Buried and this is by Kate A. Berman. I actually have a full review if you want my full thoughts of it but I ended up giving this a 4.5 out of 5 stars. It was really good, a very big mindfuck. It follows siblings Livy and Jory and they don't get along very well. Livy was raised as this beauty queen pageant girl. Jory has a partial facial paralysis which he is very insecure about and he's always felt that he's been in the shadow of Livy and then Livy decides that she is going to sue her parents for a traumatic childhood and Jory thinks this is just another one of her stunts for attention so he doesn't agree with it very much. And then on the day of their trial their parents end up going missing and so that ends up making them have to go on this huge road trip adventure to try to figure out where their parents went, what happened to them, all that jazz but again like I said it was hecka good definitely recommend. Check out my full review if you want full thoughts, but 4.5 out of 5 stars. Alright guys, so that was my first seven books out of 28 that I read this month. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these books and what you thought of them, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye!